let's just start with what phenomenology sort of inherits and has mm -hmm. to get out of. Heidegger teaching in 1925, railing against the idea that there's a problem of the external world, there's a problem of other minds, there's a problem of whether reality depends on us or is independent of us. He thinks they're all false problems, starting from the wrong place. What's the wrong place? Well, the wrong place is Descartes. He had the idea that we were self-sufficient subjects. A subject before that was anything, a substance, and the substance was anything like the flower pot that was stable and had properties. But then he turned it around and said that we are a kind of being, what he called a thinking thing, yeah. what somebody like John Searle would now call mind when he talks about mind to world, direction of fit, and world to mind. And there's only two things in his ontology two ways of being. You be a mind, self-contained, with ideas in it, and intentional content, to use this jargon. And then there's on the other side, the world, bits of extended matter, the extended thing. Mm -hmm. And the question is how you get these two things together. If all I've got access to is it's my fine. inner experiences, how do I ever know that, you, that you're not just a robot, Descartes says. How do I know you even got inner experiences? And how in the world would I know what they were? And so Heidegger's saying, well, you can't get out of it, you never should have bought that ontology. Mm -hmm. Ontology means a story about being, and the story about being is there's just two kinds of being, mental being and physical, material being. And this is what Heidegger wants to destroy. Yes, Heidegger has to get out of it. Heidegger just thinks the whole thing is wrong. Now, Heidegger just going to trash it, break with it. So the first level, and the one that I like best, is Heidegger's notion of how we relate to the stuff in the world. And Heidegger says we deal with it. He says when you go out the door, you use the latch. That means you don't have to think about the latch, you don't have the goal of going out the door, you don't have to figure out that you use the latch. It's all in flow. You're trying to do things, you've got a visual experience of things, all this is still inner stuff, and then that causes you to have bodily movements, and that's physical stuff. So at the basic level, we are just dealing with things, and Heidegger calls that being in the world, and in that being in the world, you cut beneath, really. I keep telling the class, I like to give my course the, the hour after Searle gives his course. We've done this for years. I think it must be a mind-boggling experience. <laughs> he tells them about the inner and the outer, the, the mind and the external world. I tell them there is no inner and outer. There is no mind and external world. There's just absorbed coping. That's being in the world with hyphens, and then the students will have to figure out who to believe.